Welcome to another Illustrator tutorial. This one the focus is on the Pathfinder tool. So let's start a new document in Illustrator. And again, we're going to work on a landscape orientation document. Click Create. And let's close up these palettes. So that did all of the way. Nice swatches you want on there. So let's put it on there. There we go. Command zero, put us in the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a postage stamp and how we do that is we're going to start with a rectangle tool. Now let's find the center and we hold down the option and the shift to produce a perfect square. We're just going to make a square postage stamp and we'll go out to about there and then we're going to do another square starting in the center. Let's see. I knew that would do that. Hold on here. I'll just click on the outside first. It seems to do that when I select these things. There. Okay, let's go into the center again. Hold down the option and the shift and draw another square in the center, holding down option and shift. And we'll go, we'll leave about that much space as the border. Okay, and again, we're white filled with a black stroke. Now, the next thing we do is we get the ellipse tool. Now, you can do different um, size scallops that are going to be cut out here along the edge. Um, it looks better if they're smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small, hold down the option and key and shift again, and make very small scallops like this. Now, if you recall from other tutorials you've watched of mine, <laughs> If you click on this with the selection tool and then hold down the option key and you get the double arrow, all you have to do is drag another circle across. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep on dragging a circle across. I'm going to zoom in a touch here. Let's just zoom in a touch just to make it easier to grab. So now if I hold the option key, it's much easier to get to the edge. And again, you can see that I'm making sure that I'm on the line. And don't worry about the evenness of the spread between the circles, because the spread will be distributed evenly using one of the alignment tools. So I'll go across. This is the tedious part, <laughs> if you're wondering. Okay. And using a trackpad is a pain compared to a mouse, so especially for this kind of activity at least. Yeah, so that's why it's taking so long. And then using my trackpad. Okay, a few more. And maybe one more. One more, two more. We'll leave it at that. Now what you want to do is you want to select all of them. Make sure you're careful not to select the square. So if you just do that, you select all these. And then up here, make sure this is on aligned selection. And then what you're going to do is you're going to distribute it evenly. I believe it's horizontally. Let's find out. There we go. And that evened out the space. Once you've got that done, then what you do is you make that into a grouped object. Grouped object, that way it moves easily. And what you can do is once it's a grouped object, then you can center it. And this time we're going to center with the artboard. Board and we'll center it. And that's a decent space at the end. Might have wanted it a bit different. But once you have that, go back to here. Click this individual object. So now that it's one object. And you can copy it and then paste it and move this one down to here as well. And again, if you want to center it on the artboard, that'll make sure it aligns with this. Okay, and then we're going to paste again. This time we're going to rotate it. So if you grab that, and if I hold the shift key down, oh, hold on, let's just start rotating it first. Start rotating it. And if you hold the shift key, it automatically aligns it at a 90 degree angle. Now, again, we'll just move this over to here and put it on the line. 
In this one, again, we're going to align vertically. Now put it centered. And then we'll copy this one and paste. And put this one over here. And again, align this one vertically. And it's already aligned vertically. <laughs> now, here's the fun part. We select all of these using holding down the shift key. Okay. And we also select this. And now let's go to the Pathfinder tool. The fun part. Now the Pathfinder tool allows you to do different things. Like if you look at this, it allows you to unite them. So if I wanted sort of a bubble shape coming out of that, that square, that would work. The one we're looking for though is minus front. Since the circles are on top, they're in front of the square. And what it'll do is it'll cut the shape out literally. There are other functions here that you can experiment with, but this is just to give you an idea of what these Pathfinder tools do. So if I click uh, minus front, watch what happens. Cool. So I end up with just a why did it not cut off? Okay, so now I figured out what the issue was. I had two little squares here. So um, you can see once I do the minus here, it seems like I've still got a line here, but the reason why was because I actually had two objects here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this one out. Cut that one out. And you can see I still have a square here, so I'm going to delete that one. And then I'll paste the other one back in place and just move that to the back. Send uh, to the back. There we go. And there is our postage stamp. Okay, now just to finish off this video, we want to make this into a, um, a stamp template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two again, and I'm going to cut out the center. So go into the Pathfinder tool, and again, I'm going to remove the front. Now, you can't really tell right now, but that is now a hole. <laughs> so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to add another layer put that below and I'm going to drop a photograph in there. So I'm going to call this the photograph layer so we can see that. And actually let's name this the stamp. Okay, and so now all we have to do is place a photograph in there. And I'm going to choose this little photograph. Not so little, actually, because this Illustrator file is actually quite... Actually, I'll make it quite large here, because I know it's big. I have a bunch of Harry Potters. Let's see. And do if I put it on the wrong layer? Let's go back. There we go. Select the photograph layer. Then place. There we go. Now place. And we'll do this select and we'll just drag that down to a reasonable size I'm holding the shift key down to maintain the aspect ratio and maybe a little bit smaller there we go. and just move it up from there and there we go our stamp and you can add appropriate text and whatever you like as well so that's the completion of our stamp tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.